All right, so um, we are re-insulating. Remember the vapor barrier towards the inside. I did find where we came under here at one time earlier and retaped these vents. They are still leaking air. Badly. Look how, look, it'll blow that piece of insulation straight over. Yeah, that's bad. You don't want air blowing under your house like that. So we still have to retape every vent. The good thing is they're accessible. And I feel that air blowing all the way back here. Okay. So what that's going to make is these vents cold under here when it's hot and it's going to make them sweat. So anytime you can feel air blowing out somewhere and I can feel it around this one too. You can feel air. Oh yeah, definitely feel it around the top. So all these vents need to be resealed again, make sure that they're not leaking because I'm getting ready to close this in under here. Um, stick around. We're gonna work under here until it's done. So I should be making videos possibly daily. And uh, we're gonna get to work. So I'm put, putting my mask on, putting my eye protection on, and we're gonna go to work. Like I said, we're just putting the insulation in and we're using these tiger claws to hold it up. You can buy these at in your insulation department. You just put it in between the bay and push it up. They sell two different sizes. They sell the 16 and the 24. So that's how you hold your insulation up under your floor joists. Remember this did look a lot different than this um, when it had the underbelly. This is their original underbelly. We didn't cut it out on the outside edges. All we did is pull the insulation out. And uh, now we push the insulation back from here all the way back to the inside because I did not want to cut the underbelly out on these outside edges. It'd be too hard to put back. So in here, um, we're going to put it back to the floor joist right down through here. We left a little bit of this plastic sticking out so that we could run our um, new closure from there to here. But before we do that, we're gonna make sure all these are sealed and we're wrapping these completely um, with insulation and then um, probably insulation board. So stick around this week. It's gonna be a good week, guys. If you look and you see these blue pieces, that's where there were cuts in the underbelly and we did a quick patch. So I did do a video on um, how to patch on underbelly. So if you look, how to patch an underbelly you'll find us doing this and it's very simple you buy a bottle of uh, adhesive spray and spray the piece of tarp is which is what i used a piece of a piece of tarp um spray the back side of it spray the area that you want to uh, stick it to give it a few seconds to tack off and then stick it up there and that's how you fix a hole so that's pretty simple go check out my videos on that we had several down through here so I have Paul working in front of me and he is stuffing. Paul. Left handed Paul. Left Paul. He, yes, yes, he's back. This is my other channel, not my scrapping channel. That's the difference, Paul. You're not that on that channel. You're not that on that channel. So they sell these um, rods like that and after you put your insulation up you just take it push it up take another one any place it's hanging down push it right up and it'll stick in between the floor joists beautiful so he's he is going down there installing it it'd be a little bit tight for two of us to get into so not sure, Paul. Um, so after he gets it in, I'm coming back. It stays in there all by itself um, temporarily, but it will not stay in there over time if you don't put these bracket pieces in there. So they are most important. Um, make sure I got them all in. We're still going to come back, wrap all these pipes. We're going to wrap that pipe. Look at the water condensation because they're exposed and they were under uh, or inside the insulation. So the temperature in there pretty much stayed the same as what it was in the house. But now that we're taking that big underbelly out, this is the deal that would, yeah, look. Yeah, it's raining, it's raining. Paul hit the pipe, it started raining. 
right? And you don't want that. So we're gonna be wrapping them um, with insulation all the way around, building a box actually to put that in. Yes. So that it's completely wrapped. Stick around to watch these videos, guys. They're coming. We're doing that all this week.